What you can also do is work around with individual clip opacity inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So here you can see that I have some video clips and if, you are, if I want to adjust out the opacity for this clip, I can right click and then I can click on change clip opacity. So once I do that, I can go around and type in the opacity right here, press OK just like this and you can see that this is the opacity right here. I can go around, move this out, uh, that, that is move out the layer in another uh, video layer as well. I can right click and click on, let's say for example, I can go around and uh, click on change opacity. Then I can go around and type in 40% for that as well. So there's like an um, uh, opacity right here as you can see what is taking place. You can go around into layer transform and you can transform out the layers as well. You can see that it's a see-through right here. I can go around onto this click on change layer opacity. So I can go around and type in the opacity that I want right here. I can go around over here as well and resize out this uh, video layer as you can see. And let me just move this out into the beginning. And now you can see that this is a video layer right here just like this. And since the opacity of this little clip has been changed, you can see that it is a see-through. And that is how you can go around and change around opacity of individual clips inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.